This looks a bit like Ricky Martin's on the day off. I'm not going to wear this fucking coat. It's not feminine looking, is it? No, rock star. Rocky, no, sir. You're you, I'm asking you a question. You can throw your voice. You sound like my wife. Or you know. Look, gorgeous. Hold on, there's one more. Doesn't he look handsome? Oh, shut the fuck up. You're gorgeous. Oh, that's really nice. I always thought I thought it was king of the earth. <laughs> well, you are a living legend. It's official, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Here in the bowels of his Californian mansion, Ozzy Osbourne is showing off his new sound studio. Can we play something? Yeah, that'd be great. If I can. I and his latest hit. It's a At 61, the former lead singer of Black Sabbath may be the grand old man of heavy metal. But Ozzy is doing his best to age disgracefully. You're really the granddaddy of devil music is how you're being described at the moment. Why mm. do you think the crowds still keep coming? I don't know. Why do people like horror films? I mean, you know, why do people like to see these films that they that have a heart attack every scene? You don't have any skeletons in your closet, do you? I mean, it's all open. You've written about your life oh, and, no, and you've oh, written no, about oh. some horrendous things, but there's nothing more to come out, is there? Oh, no, as far as I know. <laughs> I just, somebody's going to find, you're the father of my son. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Would be nice to have a bigger family. I wouldn't care. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. You're gorgeous. Ozzy's family, including Sharon, his long suffering wife of 28 years, is used to infamy. Where did you get a stretch for putting like a head in this thing? Thanks to the reality TV series The Osbournes. Please don't hang it drunk or, or get stoned tonight. Please. I don't do that. And if you have sex, wear a condom. The celluloid antics of Ozzy. Rock and roll! Sharon. Lovely. Jack. <laughs> and Kelly. <laughs> made them the most famous dysfunctional family in the US. And introduced a permanently sozzled Aussie to a whole new generation. Ozzy Osbourne. Why the hell would you let cameras into your house? film the Osbournes. It was an, it was an, an experiment that went <laughs> over the top. I mean, people would come to our house and go, is he always like this? And we'd go, why? why? <laughs> to us, it was normal. So people would go, this is incredible. I love you all. I love you more than life itself. You're all f***ing mad. The kids were at those teenage years where they were interesting. You know, we had Jack would strum up and down the house in commando gear and a paintball gun and Kelly was, you know, out at clubs all night. And it was just that time it was magic, the family, and it was entertaining to watch. Life on the Osbournes couldn't be any more different to Ozzy's own beginnings. He grew up in bleak Birmingham, where his only future was to escape. Come on, watch telly. Screw the wife, and that's life. I, I thought, that ain't good. And then one day, I was walking down this road, and I heard the Beatles for the first time, and it was like, wow. Well, I heard She Loves You. Well, so a light went off in my head, and I was just besotted with them. I used to be fantasized, like, wouldn't it be great if Paul McCartney was to marry my sister, <laughs> John Lennon marry my mum? <laughs> John Lennon married your mum? <laughs> <laughs> All these, you know, kids do, and uh, I remember singing, that's it, that's what I want to do. But did you think you could do it? No, it was just, at the beginning, it was like, I'm in a band, you know, I've got my... I used to walk around with an empty guitar case. <laughs> Pretending to be a rocker. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but I was a singer anyway, so... <laughs> well, he couldn't I was a very a microphone. I was a very confused singer. <laughs> Black Sabbath was formed out of desperation. Four working class mates who put together a band that was heavier and darker than any other on the music scene.
They were loved by kids, loathed by parents for their satanic verses. A 10-year act that at its height saw Ozzy bite the head off a bat on stage. With so much success came debauched excess. Oh, heaven. Addicted to drugs, grog and groupies, Ozzy was so out of control, his own band sacked him. Their excuse at the time was that you were too much of a drinker and too much on the drugs, wasn't it? But, I mean, how can they say that? I mean, they, uh, if, if, if you're taking one drug to alter your mind and somebody's taking five drugs, you're not any worse, but you're both because you're both taking drugs. Sharon stepped in, first as manager and then as wife. Sharon, what did you see in Ozzy? Why did you want to manage this out-of-control rocker? Well, he um, had such a huge following. Everybody loved Ozzy. Everybody loved Ozzy. <laughs> And under her guidance, the crowds continued to love Ozzy as a solo act. It didn't stop his addictions off stage. I've made many uh, um, statements about being sober. And what I can really say is <laughs> sobriety sucks. But on stage, he claims he was almost always sober. That was the only responsibility I had, was to give them the best show that I could give them. How could you have the discipline to stop drinking for an audience, but not have the discipline to stop drinking for your family? Well, it's, it's, it's like... Oh, that's a good question, actually. I'm stumped. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I, mean, I said to you, you got to, you got to move in. You have. <laughs> I, I, it's, it, it's. I don't know. It's just what I, I did. I mean, At the height of your addiction, how bad did it get? Oh, I mean, how bad? You, how bad? I mean, bad. I, I was arrested for attempted murder, Sharon. Sharon. I had no idea. I didn't know what they were talking about. Can we just stop there? Attempted murder of your wife. Mm -hmm. Right. What happened? Do you remember any of that? I don't remember any of it. I can remember going to a restaurant. And that's about it. Sharon, you remember it, obviously. We came home from the restaurant. I was downstairs, he was up. Suddenly, he comes downstairs a couple of hours later. He's got his underpants on. I thought he was ready for bed. And suddenly, he just said, we've made a decision. And I'm like, we've? Mm. Yes, and you've got to die. And I'm like, OK. All right. And so what did he do then? Um, he lunged on me and, you know, got me down to the floor and started strangling me. How close did it get? Um, pretty damn close. Pretty damn close. And that, that was like someone putting a red-hot poker through the middle of my spine, you know. It was like, you know, I, I, that was my worst... And that's st still, that didn't stop me drinking. I know. Point. Why didn't that stop you drinking? I don't know. So I don't know. You've lived through an attempted murder. You've lived through affairs. You've lived through domestic violence at other times. Chronic alcoholism. Why did you stay? Um, because, you know, people... At the time that we got married, people would look at Ozzy and they'd look at me and they'd think, oh, she's so straight, she's so, like, house wifey, you know, what's what's the connection here? With the way I'd been brought up, Ozzy was quite normal to me. I didn't think he was extreme in any way, and I loved him. But has, has the domestic violence stopped? Oh, absolutely. I now I beat the shit out of him. <laughs> Jokes aside, life for the Osbournes is now much tamer. They've moved from Beverly Hills. Why did you choose this place? Because it's, um... Private. To a gated community just outside Los Angeles. Do you like being a celebrity? Um, I like it better than not being. <laughs> and you've had both. I've had both. <laughs> Believe me, I've had both. And I like to go into a restaurant and, and not wait for a table. One of the perils of being a celebrity is having to look like one. And both Sharon and Ozzy have had cosmetic surgery to keep the years at bay. 
You've had your fair share oh, of plastic I, I surgery. I just one of my chins done. I had it done years ago. I've been... And wasn't there a bit of liposuction around the hips? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Still there, though. It didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to tell us what you've had done? Well, everything. I mean, over the years. I mean, I'm old, so I've been doing this a while. So it's, you know, the facelift, the neck, the arms lipoed, legs lipoed, the bum lifted. The tits. Tits, yeah. Seven and read undone soon. Undone. I don't like them. And those discs floating in you. I don't mind having it cut off. I don't like foreign stuff being put in. It's weird. I don't like oh, it. I've noticed that, darling. Shut up, you. <laughs> <laughs> and you've kept it so clean until now. <laughs> no. In fact, Ozzy has never been cleaner. So He's been hard, sober man. now for the last five and a half years. Now, for me, that's a miracle because I, I, I couldn't go hours without a drink. But then one day, I just said, I'm done. Do you feel better now? Oh, absolutely. I couldn't, I couldn't, I mean, I, it's good to wake up instead of come round. Mm. I used to overdose all the time. I mean, the, my, my highlight of the, I really enjoy a cup of tea now. <laughs> Is he an easier man to love now? He's always been easy to love because he's very vulnerable and, um, a great person, and I always knew he was a great person. It was just that, you know, he had, he was an addict. I, I gave my soul to my wife, my wife gave me her soul. You know, I couldn't think of anybody else that I want to wake up next to, you know. I, I couldn't. She's my baby, I love her. Let me hear Ozzy's planning to tour Australia early next year with his new album. But for a quirk of fate, he might have already been a true blue Aussie. Back in your younger days, oh, when yeah. you were trying to get out of Birmingham, you even considered coming to Australia. How did you know that? I read it in your book. <laughs> my, my book? I can't remember so I can't remember. Did I write I've got that? it here. Do you want me to... No, I can't remember writing that. But... Yeah. But you couldn't afford the... I didn't have the money now. I thought, it's 10 quid, go to Australia, that's where I'm going. <laughs> Dad, can you lend me 10 quid? <laughs> I'll show my secret compartment. Oh, really got a hidden door. Now Ozzy has more money than he can count. The vault. The vault, what's in the vault? And perhaps for the first time ever, a life that seems to be on track. That's all right for a kid from Birmingham. It's all right for a little guy from 14 years old, Aston. You're doing all right, Aussie. Yeah. <laughs> From one Aussie to another Aussie. <laughs> exactly. God bless you. Thank you.